Well, we're going to turn now to the heads up warning issued to, well, every single one of us. A 2,000 pound satellite the size of an SUV is barreling towards Earth, and no one's exactly sure where it's going to crash. Experts have been busy tracking it, though, and are desperately trying to make some last minute estimates. ABC's Rob Nelson has warned this. Let's hope it's an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fingers yes. crossed, right? Good morning, everyone. Yes, the bad news is that this satellite is indeed hurtling toward the planet, but the good news is that it should not pose much of a threat to us earthlings. Still, scientists are keeping a close eye on the sky as predictions continue about where exactly this huge satellite will land. This morning, a 2,000 pound satellite is barreling straight toward Earth. In the movie Gravity, Russia blew one of its satellites to bits and instead of it simply falling back to Earth, setting off a catastrophic chain of events. In real life, this SUV-sized four-year-old satellite on a mission to measure gravity is expected to land quietly today or tomorrow. We cannot say where the re-entry is going to happen, except that it's not going to happen north of uh, 85 northern latitude or south of 85 southern latitude. This includes nearly the whole planet. Earlier this year, the world witnessed a light show put on by a meteor as a crash landed in Russia. But if you're picturing a car falling on your front porch, don't get too ahead of yourself. NASA points out the chances of retired space junk actually hitting you on its way back to Earth is 1 in 32,000. The only confirmed case of someone getting hit by space debris was Lottie Williams in 1997 while she was power walking in Oklahoma. My advice is to be outside. If you see it coming, run. Mm -hmm. If you are still afraid, not to worry. About 15,000 tons have returned from space. Most of this burns up when it re-enters uh, in the atmosphere. Oh, Lottie in Oklahoma keeping it real this morning. <laughs> well, this satellite was launched back in 2009 and now has simply just run out of fuel. But again, it is expected to burn up in the atmosphere, meaning, meaning that George Clooney, Sandra Bullock, and the rest of us should be just fine. Guys. And Lottie, I just want to make clear what her advice is. If you see space trash coming in your you direction, run. 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 Yes. Run. <laughs> run. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. A little dramatic reading from Rob Nelson. Thank you very much. Keep it real.